SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. If you look at the title African Metropolis, it's really the metropolis and Africa. So metropolis, of course, mega city, big city, where there are many big cities in Africa and how are they represented. This main project or main goal was actually of this project, um, it was about representing modern voices of Africa. Well, if uh, well, the rough kind of like a rough uh, synopsis of each film. It's um, if you look at Nairobi, it's a in a way, it's a, it's a science fiction love story. Um, the, the director wants to to um, um, portray uh, uh, some kind of of a. Um, love story that he might have well, uh, wanted to have with somebody he's portraying but and it doesn't happen so and it's like, he, he has uh, some weird ideas about how this future could look like. The Cairo um, s story is um, it's a little kind of, 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 of it's a very social story in a way it's, it deals with uh, okay little uh, drug dealers and, and, and people who, are, who own money to people so the little gangster it's, it's, it's a semi gangster movie but it's um, um, it's a very interesting movie in a way that it because it portrays a very like a hidden um, 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 society as well. Basically, it's um, what's it what's it will do for a loved one. The, the heights you would reach for a loved one, the steps you would take to save a loved one's life. And I think it's something that happens to uh, virtually everybody in this country. We have situations where we have to um, do things, things that may be uh, dangerous to ourselves just to save somebody we love. The Dakar story, which is as well as, as well a love story in a way between two women and then in the traditional society. The Abidjan story deals with an artist portray of Jean-Michel Bastia and how he feels like being coming back to, to Africa. So this is this, this story between the diaspora and the African um, tradition culture. Um, it's a new interpretation, of course. Then the last one was the Johannesburg movie, um, where we, we discussed or we were, we were this this idea of, of um, loneliness and um, um, being in a big city without having uh, like a really big um, um, anchorage in, in within this uh, city um, from an old man's perspective. I've got wrong house. Sorry. I'm sorry. Each of them was, the, each of these cities had their own representation. There are many more representation possible, of course, but each filmmaker chose to have this specific topic to talk about his city. And I think it, it, went, it worked in a way, it worked quite well. First, the first, uh, the first step I would say is we had to travel. All the filmmakers had to travel. To, uh, we had to converge uh, at Durban in South Africa. That was um, twenty, I think, twenty twelve, and um, everybody actually came with a different story. In reality, what you see is not what it is, and. Um, we had different steps, we had to work with our script editor to make sure the story fits into what the African Metropolis theme was about. So yes, a lot of things were changed. In fact, actually my story, not apart from my story being cut, it was changed. Because um, the reason was, and this is me being very truthful, my story was a bit um, uh, too, let me say, futuristic sort of, than a short film. And we were trying to make a short film. So we had to look for, for, for that story that would work for the short film idea that we were going for. I think the sexual theme in my film is like a subtext because um, if, you, if you want to be real, we can say that we're really not lining up for anything sexual. It could have just been something ritualistic or something else that they were looking for. Well, um, for one, um, this film has traveled through various festivals around the world, more than I can even remember myself. Um, it has engaged, you know, um, people. You know, every audience has always been like the audience here today. Um, they watch it, they ask questions about the various metropolis represented. Technically, the movies are not bad. My appreciation of the movies is beyond the technique. I think it's, like I always say, that cinema is not really a pictorial medium. 
in essence, cinema is a dramatic medium, so I always approach film from the point of view of the narrative and not necessarily from how technically accomplished the director or the cinematographer is. Like the first film, the one in, from Nairobi, Homecoming, now I think oftentimes you have imagine, imagine filmmakers and they fall into this trap of playing this game with their camera. Oh, see how clever I am, see what I can do with the camera, see what I can come up with. I think it's the danger which newer filmmakers fall into. My favorite film, I don't know if I have a favorite film, but I think there are two films which I really like in the collection, and those are Beria and Homecoming. I like Beria because, not exactly for the film itself, but maybe because of the backstory to it, because from what I know, Beria used to be an all-white community when South Africa was under apartheid. So the story of the old man was kind of like, he, the society changed, he didn't move. Yes, so he now ended up living in the midst of black people. Most of the directors working on this project were actually young directors, which is a good thing. So it shows that there's not exactly a, a new generation, but there's a, a new set of people interested in African cinema and in improving African cinema. So I would say this collection definitely contributes towards that. Uh, yes, the funding. Basically, you have most of these films funded by um, outsiders. Um, this was funded by Hubert Bowles uh, Fund, which is a fund for artists basically set up in um, the Netherlands, as well as uh, Goethe Institute, which is a German, German cultural um, organization. So yes, here we have GTB, GT Bank, which, is, uh, which has particularly um, I think being involved, at least in Nigeria, which is what I can speak about, um, in, our, in the arts, at least in the entertainment sector. So I think that's like a basic difference in the sense that you have a Nigerian or at least an African brand that has put his money in this project. So I think that's like something unique. That's like outside of the film. If GT Bank is interested, of course, there would be some kind of follow-up. We locally want to continue presenting as well these kind of films. This is something that we want to show um, and showcase here as well. Um, producing films, there are many people who can produce a films, but then f screening these films in international festivals or in local festivals or giving at least a little exposure, this is what we can do from our side. So, and this is what we want to continue as well presenting the filmmakers, giving them the possibility to interact as well with the audience. Because, of course, it's one thing for an artist to, to do your own work, and this is what you want to do in your life. But the other thing is to react with the audience, to present it to your audience. And this is what we can do here locally, and this is why we want to, what we want to continue with this kind of screenings as well. Hi, I'm Onos. And if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.